Dean Evans here from uh, Unity Media with Alan Goulds and uh, John Delaney from the FBI. Welcome to Grattan. Uh, John, uh, you're day six of the festival of football so far. Um, what's been the highlight of the week for yourself? Too many. Absolutely brilliant week. We, we were visiting 43 clubs in the week. I think we've given out over a million in grants. Great memories of all the clubs. It's probably recognising grassroots and all the great coaches, volunteers. Brilliant memories seeing all the kids turning up. Stephen Hunt, Richard Dunn, uh, Stephen Kelly, Amber Barrett, you know, Colin, that our international manager, Martin O'Neill, is arriving today. So I suppose just a really terrific week to welcome the people and I think recognition of the great work that is done at Grassroots over there in Cork. And I suppose from my point of view, I'd visit probably a lot of the clubs in the past, but it's great to come and do it as a group. Uh, the, the FAI bus arriving into, into place and coming with some gifts as well. So brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Can you tell us, uh, tell us a little bit more about the whole concept of the festival? It was very simple. I was, I was in Killarney about 12 or 13 years ago. We were having an AGM in Dublin. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to go to Dublin now. It'll be around over a rule change and something like that. I said, why don't we have it in Kerry? And I played it down in Kerry. I played it at Top Country. I think I lived there for a couple of years. I knew there was great facilities down in Kerry. I said, well, why not showcase that to you know, the broader FAI family, you know, everybody from Dublin or wherever it would be. And then why not give out some money and spend a week in the county? And it started for that in 2007. It's our 12th year of it. It's now booked out in 2024, so the next six years are now allocated. I think 19 is me, 20 is Galway, 21 is Dublin because we're 100 years of football. 2022 is um, Offaly, 2023 is Loud, 2024 is Water. So that was the concept. I suppose, John, uh, one of the things really that it really comes back to is everything that everybody does when they wear that crest comes back to what's been done at grassroots. So by structuring it the way you're doing, it's fantastic for the future of football in Ireland. Well, it is, but tell me one international footballer that didn't come from a grassroots club. You know, so you started at grassroots level. We all did. I mean, I played at St. Michael's in Tipperary. That was my club. You know, you see Stephen Hunt, Stephen Kelly, Robbie Keane, Richard Dunn. They all had their first club. Dave Miller, God rest him, Roy Keane, Dennis Herwin. You all started somewhere. I think if you build a house, you build the foundations first. The chimney takes care of itself. The chimney first international football, but going to the grassroots and just the Asma members who had a me. Carrick Alliance, we give them 100,000 to bring in their second. Our weather pitch can sail. I've been out there many times. They're trying to get planning permission for their clubhouse to have it. We give them 100,000. Tonight we're in Lakeview. They're opening up their full size artificial. They give them 170,000 euro. We're down at Bandon, you know, Dunmanway, up as far as Mallow, Mitchellstown, um, Utterford. I mean, you can't talk. I could keep going. Just a different memory from every club. But I mean, the highlight always is the great volunteers, the coaches, people giving up their time week in, week out. Let the kids play, and that's ultimately a lot of, a lot of, not many people get to play for Ireland or play League of Ireland football for Cork City, but every kid has the right to play, and that's for clubs. When you say um, building a foundation in a club, and then every, everything looks after itself, and you look at a club like Grant, it's a family club, there's many lads there are related to each other, but they all see each other as, as brothers. What makes a club like Grant special in the eyes of the FBI? Well, I think first of all the history of the club. I mean, meet the, the committee there. Speaking to the guys, I mean, they've they're won a lot of trophies. Um, great sense of community. They've had a tough time here with some damage done to the to the club. And yet they're still keeping it going. And they still want to keep it going. They've got very proud about their club. Um, we'll help them out for sure. We'll give them a couple of sets of gold posts. And that helps them on the way and kind of keeps them going. Absolutely great. What, what would you say to people that are watching this that would be finding themselves in a scratching their head moment that are at grassroots in order to keep going? What would you say to those people? Well, make contact with the association if you need any help because I see I see ourselves as a customer service organisation. We've got a facilities department who help day in, day out, every club in the country who makes contact. We've got a lot of clubs, 2,600, but make contact with us. Keep it going, you know, get the school boys section. School boys section is very important and school girls, you know, if you can get the kids playing at a younger level involved in the club, well, they'll progress then to the higher level. So that I've noticed all through the years the clubs that get stronger are the ones who develop the school boys and school girls section. Just taking Water, Water Grass Hill, for example, the 55 yards playing. And that's over the last two or three years, they've built that. So build the boys, build the, build, build the school boys, build the school girls, and they'll come through the, at the very top. So you've heard from John Delaney up here in O'Neill Park with Grant United, uh, talking about the festival of football, grassroots football in, uh, in Cork and, and across the country. Um, as an ex Grattan man and player, and manager for a short period, um, it was great to see John take his time out of his uh, busy schedule to come up here. Um, so Alan, what do you think of the whole festival of football itself? Look, it's great. Um, obviously, you know, I'd be more of a, a GA man. I'd be a soccer fan when it comes to the Republic of Ireland and that. But it's brilliant to see the people that are at the top as we see them 
coming to the clubs that are doing it week in, week out. And without people like the Grattans of the world, you know, the FAI wouldn't be as uh, popular, I suppose, or as in demand to get into school boys teams because of the amount of volunteers they have. So yeah, no, fair play to the FAI for it and obviously to John and his team for coming up to speak to us today. Absolutely, we look at those guys that are running the, the FAI themselves as, as the top brass, but at the end of the day, as John said himself, he used to be a schoolboy player back in the day, so there's aspirations for kids, even if they don't want to be footballers, that they can look at running clubs voluntarily themselves, like all the guys up there at Grattan do them. As yeah, well. like no matter what sport you're in, right, um, obviously we're in the heart of the north side, the heart of Cork City here, no matter what sport you're interested in, once you're playing and involved in sport, that's a positive. So whether you're playing soccer or GA, ladies football, anything, it's positive. And John alluded to that, 55 girls on a, a girls soccer team in their camps, like that's obviously a testament to the coaches that they have. So it's only, I suppose, onwards and upwards. And as we heard them as well say, there's good plans in the pipeline, hopefully for Grant United in the coming weeks, uh, you know, with what the lads have to do contact wise and hopefully that will develop into a bigger plan for the club down the line. So yeah, no, fair play to them for coming up here today. And he gave uh, Unity Media his, his time as well, which is which is much appreciated on, on our own side. Um, so we'll uh, we'll keep everyone abreast with any um, information that they send through to us and through to Grant as well. Exactly. And I suppose one thing just mentioning as well that we are a community group, we're a voluntary group like the lads here in Grattan. So if there's anybody watching this that does want to feature their club or their organisation in any way, just contact us on any of our social media platforms or of course the website as well, unitymedianetwork.com.